This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another Atlas Guide. Today I'm going to show you how to easily solo treasure maps. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first and probably most easiest way is just get a decent level bear. Like this one started out at 10, it's 21 now. Um, probably a level 10 would work. Just a decent level bear as you level it, level health and damage and uh, that's going to make this a heck of a lot easier on you. So we got one right up here you can see it right there so make sure you know where it's at get your bear run close to it and then i think you gotta hop off the bear for it to actually like do the thing so we're just gonna run the bear up to it and uh initiate it here get them to pop up then we'll run over here and get our bear and then we'll just maul into them like so and just nom all of their faces and uh, until they're dead and that's that's pretty much it the bear can take it and the bear can easily make short work of all of them even the big guy you can see he can't even like oh there he finally got a chance to attack if you got something bigger like a rhino would probably work rhino's got massive knockback though but it's totally up to you what you want to use like any of these big war mounts bears elephants rhinos stuff like that I'm gonna make really short work of them uh, and then you just pop off and you can come over here dig up your treasure pretty easy stuff okay for this next one you need to get a good idea of exactly where your beacon is so we're going to just kind of walk around the outside of this here until we can get a good view of it so that we can find some type of marker to see there so it's like right at the edge of that beehive it looks like would be our marker for this one so don't just take your time you don't need to like run right in there yeah right at the edge so you see you get pretty close to it uh, then you're going to take it off your hotbar then you're gonna get a bunch of signs so you can see I got signs here they're great because they're super cheap to make and it looks like it was about right like this so then we're just gonna place some signs you can leave a pretty decent sized gap you can check it real quick if you can't walk through it they can't get through it so we're just going to do that. Place another one right here. It'll take you probably like seven, eight, maybe uh, nine, depending on how good you are at, at placing signs. Uh, looks like this bear is gonna get in my way here. We're just gonna let him continue to go. And then we're just going to place it right around like so. Make it a pretty big size circle because they can spawn outside of it if you don't. Just like that and then I think I can place it well it looks like I'm gonna have to place it here so I may may have to place another one yeah once again if you can walk through it they can walk through it so something like that and just go through real quick and just just check all of your corner pieces so there can't get through it oh oh see see we have one we can get through so we're gonna need to throw down another sign there that was my fault for leaving a gap. You can also check them as you're placing them. Okay, that should be should be more than good enough. And uh, now all we got to do is grab that map and put it back on our hotbar. It'll show up. They'll start to spawn. Now you can just kill them kind of however you want. Uh, you can sit here and shoot them with arrows if you want, but it's going to take a while. I find the easiest way you can just throw a couple of grenades, like three or four, and uh, you'll kill them all. You also blow up the sign so you don't have to, uh, oh, maybe a little overkill there, so that you don't have to uh, deal with destroying those after the fact. And then that's it. Then you just destroy your sign so you don't clutter up your server and you don't interfere with another treasure map spawning there. And there you go. And then you can just dig up your treasure map. And I know what you're thinking. Grenades are expensive, Fire Spark. What if I don't want to use grenades? Well, I have another strategy for you, so let's go to another treasure map location. Okay, so here we are at another treasure map location and we're just going to, well, apparently glitch out a little bit in the water. Uh, we're going to once again look to see where it's at. It's kind of hard to see when you're, you're at an angle to it. Yeah, okay, so now what we're going to do, we're just going to pop it off our hotbar again. Once it's off your hotbar, you're just going to take your signs and we're going to do the same thing again. So we're just going to go right there. And then place another one at an angle. We'll check our gap. We're good. Do the same thing again. And then we'll place the last one 
like so. Okay, there we go. So now we're good. Now, what you want to do is, I know you don't want to wa waste the resources, so I don't like to waste resources. I don't know about you, but I don't like to. So you can see here, I have a swivel gun. I have a bunch of the grape shot ammo on me already. Then you need a wall and a foundation. Okay, so now we're going to grab the map, put it back in our hot bar, and hopefully they don't float when this water comes up. I might actually wait till this rainstorm is over. I think this is the right map here. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till this rainstorm is over and then I'll show you this next trick. Okay, I'm hoping we're good. So I took a few steps back because you can do that as well to see that your uh, signs are in the right spot and it looks like they are. We got it completely surrounded there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get our foundation and be on the ready. So you've got your foundation. Make sure you can, the best bet is like to do one, two, three, or, um, you know, have them in a row. So like two, three, four, one, two, three, whatever. So we're going to do our foundation, then our wall or half wall, then the gun. So we're just going to walk up to it. Now you got a second before they're going to start shooting at you and stuff because they have to crawl up out of the ground and then you place your gun. You get on it, you load it, you fire, and you kill them all. Then you back off your gun, you pick it up, you pick up the wall, and you pick up the foundation. See how see how that works? <laughs> now, if you don't get them killed in one shot, and you have a little bit of issues, maybe one's like over here and you didn't get it, or one was whatever, and you don't get it, and you're afraid that you're gonna expend your 30 seconds that you have in order to pull this off, just stop. Pick everything back up, place it back down, and continue shooting. It's pretty easy. All right, and that's pretty much all there is to this episode. I know it was a rather short one, but I just wanted to show you those few tricks just to make mapping that much easier because mapping is extremely important and uh, it's a great way to get gold. So hopefully that helps some people out. That is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.